stop rubbernecking. That's my suggestion to anyone who's hoping to find a bottom in the train wreck that is tech. You want to start buying when the accident's over. But what if the accident's still ongoing? Why get involved in the pileup? I'd much rather use ways to avoid the accident entirely. I think this is an essential point on a sedate day like today, of course, not underneath, where the Dow inched up three points, doesn't beat the climb 0.16%, but here we go again. The Nasdaq lost 0.59%. Right now, there's a consensus that tech's done going down. You know that. I know that. I mean, there's got to be some value. There's got to be some value somewhere, doesn't there, doesn't there? After all, I mean, how can stocks be down 50, 60, 70, 80 percent and not of some value? That was my reaction when I read a research report downgrading Roku this very morning. A digital TV play, which had already plummeted from nearly 500 to the low 50s. And I saw uh, after the downgrade that the stock failed to go down. So this were, there, there, there was something akin to rubbernecking here. An analyst who recommended Roku at 228 in September 2020 rode that by all the way to the stock's high of 490 and change, then rode it back down and jumped off here in the 50s? The house of pain. With the stock failing to go down when he finally took it off the buy list, I thought to myself, aha, doesn't that have to be the bottom, right? I mean, the clearing of the accident, downgraded, no doubt there. Mm, can't we finally consider Roku de risk? Can't we finally start? Bye, bye, bye. Roku! But then you actually read the report, and there's simply no reason whatsoever to buy this thing. I mean, Roku is losing a ton of money, and the losses are only going to get worse. The revenues are slowing. They're losing market share to connected TV. They've got no real mode. Their advertising business is on the decline. There's simply no reason to think that Roku's bottomed other than dramatic irony. Some guy who liked it all the way down, abandoned ship, and the stock didn't react. Well, there is a real reason. I'm not picking on Roku, or even the analysts. Sure, it might look silly to downgrade a stock that's already off 76% for the year. But there's a reason they threw in the towel. This is a company with lots of problems and no solutions. There's no reason to own it unless you're expecting a takeover bid. But nobody would want to acquire this thing unless they could get it for much lower. And that's assuming the deal doesn't get blocked by the Federal Trade Commission. They know nothing! Which has become ferociously anti-merger. But Roku's just an example of what I'm wary of as we head into a period where lots of tech companies are reporting. I'm worried that they're simply piling up again and watching this pile up is just plain sad. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.